Traders, Trader Tom here from Simply Forex, the channel created to help you succeed in the markets. I've been trading for over 15 years now, and I have poured all of my trading knowledge, experiences, expertise, techniques, and strategies into the VIP Trading Academy as part of our Discord channel so that you can take advantage and profit from the markets. Whether you're a beginner on day one of your trading journey or you've been trading for years, we have something for everyone. As part of the VIP Trading Academy, you will receive daily trade signals, numerous tutorials, profitable strategies, exclusive content every week, daily analysis, and you get direct access to me, plus much, much more. We will also be running competitions where we'll be giving away prizes every single month. All of this is usually worth $300, but here's the exciting part. We can now offer this to you for free. Yes, that's right, for free. So how can we do this? Well, we are super proud to announce that we have partnered with Axie, a leading global award-winning broker. And if you open a live trading account with them and deposit as little as $500, then we will give you free access to the VIP Trading Academy. So what are you waiting for? Check out the promotion below, open a live Axie trading account today, and we will see you in the VIP Trading Academy where we will help you every step of the way on your trading journey. Yo, 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 traders, how are we? Welcome back to Simply Forex. I hope you're all well. Um, in Dubai right now, it's like the end of the world. Honestly, we've had like hurricane winds, thunder, lightning, uh, rainstorms. You know, you can't see past your face for cloud. This is very unlike Dubai. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. We are yeah experiencing that today in Dubai. Um, guys, I hope you're having a good trading day. In the live and in the live stream today, we are going to do the following. So, guys, we're going to look at a trade that I'm in. I'm in Cat Canadian dollar Swiss franc. However, we do have news coming out shortly. Um, we're also going to look at news today. Like I said, we've got some Canadian dollar and US dollar news coming out, uh, and also your questions. So, you ask as many questions as you like, and I will ignore them. I'm only joking. I will answer them. Yes, yeah, so ask as many questions as you like about anything to do with trading. And also, don't be shy. Come say hello. Um, leave a question. Um, you know, be part of the live stream. Don't be like what I am on Facebook or something. I'm like a voyeur. <laughs> I just, I don't make any comments. But anyway, uh, enough about me. Let's focus on trading. So uh, let's just see, uh, let's open the live chat, see who's in the house. Uh, Brett, afternoon, Brett, Aya, afternoon, traders, CJ, afternoon, Tom. Hi, guys, you are all part of the VIP crew. So, um, scalps, afternoon, scalps. So let's start with the trade that I'm in. I'm in Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, and I, I'm selling it. Why am I selling it? Well, from my morning analysis vid or my daily analysis vid, it might not be morning for you. Yeah, we're in a downtrend. Yeah, we're getting lower highs. And then when we broke this level here, we're getting lower lows. All right. We've had a nice big bearish candle and we're below the moving average 20. There's lots of things to like about this trade. And look at this area here, because this is actually my first target. I will leave some to run down to here if the trade's successful. Um, and all it was, guys, was a really a H1 trade. All right. So why is it a H1 trade? So if we just follow H1 structure, right here, we were clear, clearly in an uptrend price. I'm going to say that's a level price is shot down. And this last high here has never broken. This wick closed below it. This wick closed back below it. And now this wick hasn't been broken all right so this h1 level in a in a you know in a strange way hasn't been broken it's not that strange but it hasn't been broken all right obviously you know we we i 
I wanted this to move before news come out, but we've got Canadian dollar CPI and we'll take a look at that shortly. So, you know, I, I might do one or two things. So my stop is currently here, right? Obviously we want the trade to do this, um, but I might move my stop to here, okay? Just to half my risk because news is coming out, but I'm umming and ahhing about doing this because you know, I also like this level. So news could quite easily force this up to here, right? And then we get a big wick that comes down like that. This could quite easily happen with news. So I may just leave my stop loss where it is, okay? And if CPI data does go heavily against us, then so be it, all right? Because I, I, I like this level, okay? So... Yeah, there's my thinking with Canadian dollar Swiss franc. I'm in this trade. Um, so I actually sold here, started selling here. My stops up here, and my target is uh, six six hundred, basically. All right, so we're going to get one is to one if this works out. And that's the only trade I'm in today, guys. The the other ones we were looking at were U.S. dollar pairs, but let's just take a quick look at one of them. Let's take a look at U.S. dollar CAD. Um, Okay, my computer's froze, wonderful. All right, so, we, we, you know, this H1 candle is showing a bit of a breakdown. You know, we've had a H1 structure break. It's the same on Euro, US dollar. So, you know, let's see what news does. All right, I will, and then I'll make a decision on trading US dollar, Canadian dollar. Um, so what is all this noise, uh, noise? What is all this news I'm talking about? So it's this, guys, right? If we go to the... Uh, investing.com website you will see all of the news we're looking at so in just under 22 minutes um yeah we're looking at this us data here all right so we've got housing starts and building permits and more importantly for the canadian dollar trade that i'm in we're looking at cpi here as well all right so important figures it, it says two star ratings here right but you know we know this can have a big impact if it's far better or far worse than expected. Um, interestingly here, we have no forecast. So that might make the reaction quite timid. Yeah, because we're not comparing it to anything. So guys, please remind me 4.30 my time, 1.30 London GMT uh, to check out the news. All right, let's go back to the charts. Let's see who, who else is in the house um rich paul sup greg good day mate um travis leave a thumbs up to keep the editor happy travis you know the editor well he is a nutcase and we must keep him happy Aya, can we please check aussie dollar us dollar certainly Aya, will take a look at that um poo poppy i'm still in the new zealand cad uh sell trade i don't know what to do before news i think i'll just leave it and cross my fingers <laughs> So probably that is not the best thing to do. Let's take a quick look at that. It's a good question. So I've been discussing this with my CAD Swiss franc, and I think I'm going to leave my stop where it is because of that level I like. But I'm also in New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar for 20%, right? Uh, I have 20% running. And really, this is my target. Now, if you're heavily in profit, right, which it sounds to me that you are poo poppy, right? you can take some profit, right? Just take some profit, whether it's 50%, 60 70%, 80 take some profit here because it could do that and you will be sick as a pig that you didn't take any profit, okay? So take some profit at this level because news is coming out. And then all you need to do is just put your stop loss above this swing high here. You know, just put your stop loss in here. I'm assuming your stop loss, you know, maybe started up here and you've moved it down, but just move your stop loss to here. And then you have a risk-free trade. You've taken the majority of the profit off the trade and then just see if news, you know, just let it rip with the news. It might rip that way. If you're, you know, if you're lucky, it might rip that way. But the point is it's risk-free. Okay, so do that, Poo Poppy. Don't cro also cross your fingers, but do this. Yeah, you know, apply some, yeah, some, some logic to when news comes out. Hope that helps. 
Um, Skelts, uh, Tom, me and Brett are looking at Naz Short at previous daily levels. Can we uh, have your thoughts on this? So, yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm also looking at Naz Short. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to look at Aussie dollar, US dollar, and then we're going to look at Naz, and then everyone's happy, including the editor. Um, hi, Michael. Hi, Kim. Uh, okay, pound US dollar. Louis Esterhusen, where has this famous golfer been? Welcome back. Uh, Poo Poppy, yeah, it's probably best. Right, let's have a look at Aussie dollar, US dollar, first of all, for IA. Now, um, where are we? Aussie dollar, US dollar. Okay, so day chart. So this this also goes for, so Kim, this also goes for US uh, pound, US dollar, right? I am only interested in US dollar strength today, right? That might change tomorrow, but today I'm interested in US dollar strength, okay? Whether it's pound, US dollar, I'm interested in US dollar strength. Whether it's Aussie dollar, US dollar, I'm interested in US dollar strength, right? So that, that's, that's my only direction for US dollar pairs. Um, but again, we've got news coming out, so we'll check that. And why is that? Because just look at the US dollar strength, just regardless of uh, structure, obviously we'll look at structure, but regardless of structure, just look at these candles, look at that candle, look at that candle, look at that candle, look at this candle so far, right? Just bearish, bearish, bearish. Structurally, we're also in a downtrend. Okay, actually, I'm going to do that again because I would include that level here. So these would be my levels, come down, back up to there, and down. So we're getting lower lows, lower highs. Yeah, we're clearly in a downtrend, and it's the same with pound US dollar. So I'm going to do two bits of analysis in one. Two birds, one stone. Um, yeah, I was going to say something quite unusual there, but I won't. So this is where we are, right? I want to sell Aussie dollar, US dollar. Now, we need to think of a target, right? And I am interested in this. I know we spoke about uh, Euro, US dollar and US dollar CAD today. But this, if I put in a blue line, still has room down to here. Okay, 6,400 basically would be the target. In fact, let me move that up by one, just through being pure pernickety. There we go psychological level so there's a strong possibility aussie dollar us dollar is going to make it to that level now if we look at the h4 right st st stuttering right but still you know bearish candle bullish wick so really if we drop down to the h1 you can see um, i think this is an old i'm not interested in this okay if you know if we got a break of this low yeah, potentially I'd be interested, but I'm not interested because my target's here. Yeah, so if price broke that level, you know, you've got about three pips to aim for. So bearing that in mind, yeah, also let's look at pound US dollar because it's the same situation here, right? If we look at the day chart, this is at support, right? This is at support. Okay. Whereas we have some US dollar pairs that aren't at support. So if you're going to trade any US dollar pairs, I like US dollar CAD, yeah, because it has room to move into, yeah. Whereas Aussie dollar US dollar didn't, pound US dollar didn't, right? Or Euro US dollar, I like. Yeah, I still think this has room potentially back down to this support here. All right, it might want to retrace first before it comes back down, quite possibly. But the point is, this has room to move into. All right, so yeah, when, you know, when you when you pick a pair, let's say you choose Aussie dollar, US dollar, you're interested in that, or you're interested in pound, US dollar. Compare it with other US dollar pairs. Yeah, why why wouldn't you look at all of them? Because you're gonna you're gonna find one of them will give you the best setup, right? And trade that one. 
Don't be fixated on Aussie dollar, US dollar, or foot fixated on pound, US dollar. Trade the one that gives you the best setup and the best and has the most room to move into. All right. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That's the US dollar pairs. Uh, and guys, uh, if I could just ask everyone, if you're enjoying my analysis, to please uh, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, we'd love to have you. Uh, and the editor would be happy. Uh, and also, guys, if everyone could please smash the like button right now, it really helps support the channel. I'm going to have a drink while you do. Right. Um, okay, now um, we wanted to look at the NASDAQ. So, again, guys, I'm interested in the NASDAQ. All right. It, you know, clearly it's it's looking like a good sell, right? Because we were, we've been in this range, right, from here to here. Yeah, clearly in a range, yeah, range, 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 range. All right, that's more rangy than a Range Rover. Okay, that's a, you know what I mean, it's rangy. But this little bad boy, of a candle which is very bearish has broken out of this broken out of this level here okay so for me you know that is a clean break of structure out of a range and it has room to move into all right like this trade i like this trade from a daily point of view i want to sell it all right so i've got my direction now i need where the hell can i enter you know, and that's the tricky bit, guys. Yeah. You know, getting your direction on the day chart is one thing, but really pinpointing and finding entries is is trickier for a better word, right? So if we look at the H4 and we just look at the wicks, right? If we just look at the wicks on the H4, right? If you look at this H4 candle, hasn't finished forming. But you look at the wicks of these candles. There are bottom wicks forming, right? And also on this green candle. That suggests to me that this will retrace further, okay? Will it retrace to here, 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 or here? We have no idea. Nobody in the world has any idea where that will retrace to. Okay, but let's rephrase that. But but we can look at clues, right? So all I'm going to do, yeah, is on the H4, if this was a H4 trade, is just let the candles tell me when it's ready to sell. So I, I, can, I, I can pick an area, yeah, like this gray zone, yeah, because price has hit it historically, right? So, you know, this is what I do every day. If we zoom out, I can pick a I can pick a zone for you, right? A support and resistance level because if price has reacted historically, chances are it will react again at this level, right? But again, there's no guarantees. So the real big clue is a bearish candle, right? So if price, let's say we get a green candle followed by another green candle you know, followed by a green candle. They don't go on top of each other like that. And then we get this big candle, bearish candle that looks like this, right? There's your clue. That's where we start selling. So I would sell here. Moving average 20 is probably down here. I'll probably put my stop above the moving average 20, sell here, and just look to take it lower. I'd take some profit here because we know there's buyers there. Yeah, and then I'd let 20% run. Yeah, real logical stuff, guys. So, you know, I can pick areas and pick direction, but I need the market to tell me that it's ready. Yeah, it says, Tom, look at that bloody candle. I am ready to come lower. Or Tom, look at that structure break on H1. I'm ready to come lower. Yeah. So H4, I would trade that big bearish candle, I would trade that. Now, another clue, which I just mentioned, is H1 structure break. Now, for me, this has had a break to the upside. 
Yeah, is at this level, at this level, break. All right, we have had a H1 structure break. Now, if this H1 keeps doing this, again, I'm not interested. There's nothing, the market is not telling me to sell it. Regardless that it's got into our gray zone, the market has yet to tell me to sell it. So what would I wait for? I'd wait for something like this, right? We get a bit of sideways and then bang. Yeah, we get a break of structure. I would start selling, like I say, back down to here, put my stop above here. And that's what I would do. I would trade the H4 structure with a bearish candle, or I would trade the H1 breakdown of structure because currently we're in a H1 uptrend. All right. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm looking for in the market. And guys, you know, if you want all of my trade ideas and all of, you know, this is like a tutorial, if you like. If you want all of my tutorials, all of my trade signals, then come join the VIP Trading Academy. And the, the real kicker is it's free. If you, if you join our preferred broker, you have free access to the VIP Trading Academy, where I give you all of my trade ideas, all of my uh, trade signals, all of my tutorials, direct access to me, you know, plus much, much more. So check it out, guys. Um, and also, please just come join our free trading community, yeah? We've got like-minded traders sharing knowledge, ideas, experiences. So come join the free Discord channel. You just create a username and we let you in. We're, we're, we're nice like that. We're terrible bouncers, yeah? We just let you in. All right. So, yeah, check all that out, guys. And also, if you want to um, have priority with the questions on the live stream, like the people in green, you can also become a Simply Forex YouTube member. And again, there's many perks for doing so. So check it all out. The editor will be punching in links as we speak. Um, OK, so, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But that scale, some bread. Um, to else with it? Poo poppy exits are harder than entries. I've been mismanaging too many trades of late. Exits are harder than entries. I would probably agree with that. Yeah, I would agree with that. So why would I agree with that? Well, your entries are quite robotic. You know, you know exactly as I explained on the Nasdaq just there. Those are my options. Yeah, I'll have a H4 bearish candle with H4 trend, or I'll wait for a H1 breakdown. Right, quite mechanical, really. I mean, it is price action, but that's what I would be looking for. So the entry takes care of itself, really. And I put my stop above the last high or below um, the last low. Yeah, whether I'm longing or shorting. So yeah, I would agree with that, Poo Poppy. And then your 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 exits yeah i mean my exit is the if i'm selling this is the next piece of support yeah so my exits are quite clear also but i i understand you know once, once the trade's gone so much in your favor maybe that 20 percent is running then that becomes difficult to exit um so yeah i'd agree with that point but what i do is just trail the stop yeah just keep trailing the stop and, you know, we shall see. Well, not we shall see. You know, you can maximize the profit. Um, right. Coprod. Coprod, how the devil are you, me old mucker? Uh, I haven't seen you for a while. Brett, news in five. Okay. So, guys, yeah, we've got news coming out in five minutes. So, we've got five minutes for another question. Has anyone got another question? I'll tell, I'll tell you something I am looking at is Euro Pound. Okay, it hasn't quite broke this level yet. So if you like, this is one big H1 level. And it hasn't broke it yet. So I'm looking for a break retest of Euro Pound. Yeah. Um, Daniel Davis. Now, if you want to fill five minutes or maybe several hours, we can discuss football. What's happening to Liverpool and Arsenal? Daniel Davies, we don't have enough time for that. I, I might do a separate uh, live stream 
to talk about Liverpool FC. If anyone's interested, leave a thumbs up. Um, okay, and then Skelt also makes a good point here. I would say managing the trade can be even harder than entries and exits at times. Yeah, I'd agree with that point, Skelt, because managing a trade, there's more moving parts. Yeah, I, I, I would totally agree with that as well. Um, yeah, very, very much so. Poo Poppy, don't mix your words, Poo Poppy. You know, don't sit on the fence. She's put a bunch of bottlers. Thank you very much for that. Um, okay, break my heart again. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, you're an Arsenal fan. Yeah, so you can say that. Um, so, yeah, we've still got a few more minutes, guys. I, I can't, I'm too upset and emotional to talk about football. But I am looking at this euro pound buy trade, right? If we look at the day chart, we are in an uptrend stroke range, right? Euro pound, there's your range, right? Bang, bing, bong, bang. Yeah, you'll find those words in all of the top economic books, right? But that's in a range, okay? Stroke, uptrend right because if we start here at this point yeah we have higher lows and these lows have not been broken and we have higher highs so if i'm in a uptrend stroke range i want to trade the bottom of the range back to the top of the range simple as that all right, so that's why I'm, I'm keeping an eye on Euro Pound. This is this was almost like my second tier trades that I've been looking at. All right, and, and there's this H1 level that's just not breaking. Yeah, it's just stubbornly holding. There was a bit of news earlier, but I'm actually going to put a, um, an alarm in here. All right, so this is all I'll do, guys. If I'm interested in a, in a zone, in a, a, a an area where price could break, I just put an alarm in and then I, you know, go and pick my nose or read a book or, you know, sing on karaoke. <laughs> uh, don't do the karaoke bit or pick my nose occasionally. Um, so, yeah, Euro Pound. I like that one for that reasons as well, guys. All right. So we've got two minutes to the news now. Um, hi, Tom. The reach from India. Uh, can you please review pound Canadian dollar? Well, Canadian dollar is going to move very shortly. So I'm going to look at the trade that I'm in. And yeah, I'm still going to keep my stop loss where it is, guys. Yeah, because, because I like this level. Yeah, so I'm going to leave my stop loss up here. All right, and we'll see what happens to this trade. So we've got 50 seconds. Um, who's going to win the league? Is it Liverpool, Manchester City or Arsenal? And I think we all know the correct answer is Liverpool. So anyone? Pooh Poppy would disagree. Let's be honest, it's probably money bags, Manchester City. Um, right, let me just get rid of this. You know, and also what I'm wary of, guys, price might do this. It might come up, take your stop loss, and then have a massive wick like this. So I'm, I'm, you know, need to pay attention here because news is coming out, right? Um, so we've got nine, eight. It'll probably be a damp squid, as you, you know, as usual. But we're going to predict the news as well, guys. All right. So let's just take a look. Okay, this is good. Okay. So obviously, guys, you know, this CPI data must, it, you know, the initial reaction is it must be worse than expected, right? Um, my target's just down here, guys. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. Maybe we'll take some profit here. Okay, well, I'll, wait, I'll wait for it to hit my alarm, guys. Yeah, we're in no, no rush there. Okay. 
All right, we'll keep an eye on that. But obviously, guys, let's let's take a quick look at the news. So if we're playing guess the news game, yeah, I'm guessing CPI was worse than expected, right? And then if we look at a US dollar pair, not US dollar Canadian dollar, let's look at a US dollar pair. This isn't suggesting much. Yeah, because we also had some US dollar news. But let's suggest that was as expected. Let's look at Euro, US dollar. A little bit of US dollar weakness. All right, so, okay, New Zealand CAD's coming down. That's going to close that for 20%. Right, give me a second, guys. Okay, so I am going to take some profit here. There'll be one second. Okay, and then leave some profit to run. Um, sorry, guys, I'm just in a couple of trades. I'm also going to like, close New Zealand dollar. Right, okay, what? Well, so. Yeah, I will just been taken out of my 20% here. So what a strange reaction that is. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, it's not a strange reaction. News, yeah, Canadian dollar weakness. All right. So I've, I've literally just been taken out from my last 20%. Yeah. So this was a trade from uh, yesterday. Yeah, it was in this trade. Yeah, just trail the 20%. Yeah, and my last 20% was in here. So let me just check that. Yeah, okay, so I've been taken out of that trade. All right, but good. Today's trades hits target. We're going to leave some profit to run. And let's just take a quick look at the news now. Um, so we, we're suggesting US dollar was as expected and CPI for Canadian dollar was worse than expected. So let's take a look. Yeah, there you go, guys. Right, so, okay, this was also worse than expected. Okay, so we'll see if we get some... US dollar weakness off the back of that. But this CPI figures, you know, just this one here was worse than expected. All right. So, yeah, that's the news reacting. Let's take a quick look at some of these US dollar pairs that we're interested in. Okay. So, still no setup. But, you know, I want to sell US dollar pairs, right? And there's just no sell. Let's look at the H4 to see if it's come to an interesting level. So obviously on H4, this is an interesting level, a very nice level, I would say, right? Because we're in a H4 downtrend on Euro US dollar. Yeah, still still making lower lows. And if price makes its way back to here, this last high, not only have we got the moving average 20, but we got these last highs as resistance. Okay, this could be a really interesting level for selling okay um if we look at us dollar canadian dollar because that was another one we was looking at yeah this is probably left the building i don't know actually we'll see have i got enough room so i've had to zoom out guys because because what i'm weighing up now is if i take so this is interesting right let's let's spend some time on this trade so this is my target right um, and looking at structure right now, let's say this candle finished like it did, right? I would be willing to buy that. But, yeah, if I buy this, right, I need to think about my stop loss as well. So let's say we the candle finishes like it is now, hypothetically, right? And I start buying at this level. I still have to put my stop loss below here or hedge whatever you use. And this is my TP. So straight away, if the candle did finish like this, okay, the trade doesn't make sense. So what will I do? I will do the following, right? I know the middle point between here and here is roughly here. Right, so if this candle forms, okay, great. This is what we want. We want bullish reaction. We want to buy US dollar, Canadian dollar. But I will wait for it to retrace to this level. Yeah, K 
came to this level, let me get rid of this, and then I will start buying at this level. Because at this point, we're getting one is to one. All right, and then we can start buying. So yeah, we'll see what happens to this hourly candle. I'll need a retrace on this. Um, but yeah, you know, that's how I will, that's exactly how I'll trade it. Um, so that's interesting, guys. Um, let's take a look at any more questions that we've got on the live chat. Also, guys, don't I say guys a lot, don't I? I've noticed that. Um, please, yeah, don't be shy, guys. Ask as many questions as you like. And also, please come join the channel. Yeah, we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel right now and smash that notification button. And also, come join our trading community of like-minded traders. Come join our free Discord channel. Um, it's free. Create a username. We let you in. Um, right. What are we looking at here? Okay. So, Pooh Poppy. Yeah, good. You know, you you would have been furious if you didn't take some profit on that New Zealand Canadian dollar trade. Um, wasn't the damp squid for your trade, Tom? No, it wasn't. That was very nice. I will put the result in the VIP Trading Academy shortly. Um, I'll re-enter later. Okay, yeah, you could do. Um, yep, hit TP on my trade. Uh, Scalps, if you have time, do you want to have a look at US 30? Okay, let's have a look at the US dollar 30. Out of all the indices, I prefer the NASDAQ to sell. I want to make that clear because the NASDAQ has a nice... So, so this is interesting. Let's discuss this as well, right? So... Why do I prefer the NASDAQ over the US dollar 30? So let's compare, okay? So the NASDAQ has literally just broke this level with a nice big bearish candle, but it's only just broke it. It is a fresh break, which means it's not a million miles away from the moving average 20. Also, what I like is there's room to move into, right? Now, if you compare this day chart with the US dollar, the Dow Jones chart, you know, this is not as attractive, right? Not only has it already had its big move, yeah, it might come further, yeah, but it's already had a big move down, which makes it, you know, a fair distance away from the moving average 20, which is the mean, yeah, it's like the average of the chart. So it's a little oversold. And there is this level through here. Right? So a no-brainer for me. I wouldn't be interested in, if you know, if I had to trade an indice, yeah, I wouldn't trade the Dow Jones because of that. Right? A little bit oversold at a support level, although I want to sell it. It's in a downtrend. Okay? Now, if you compare that again with the NASDAQ, this has, you know, it's broken support. And therefore, the next support is down here. Yeah, where well, you can see prices reacted before. All right. So, yeah, you know, if you're going to trade anything, trade the NASDAQ for those reasons. Um, yeah, well, yeah, let's have a look at Euro Pound, see how that's falling okay so that's not breaking that h1 level i do quite like this trade um so we'll keep an eye on that um i was also keeping an eye on oil guys yeah because oil you know is in a bit of a range yeah it's in a bit of a range now but oil look at this bullish reaction at the moving average 20 and the bottom of the range yeah so potentially this could be a nice trade back up to these highs so we're keeping an eye on that as well. Um, CJ, good day in the office, mate. My US dollar CAD hit target and your New Zealand CAD hit target. I feel like doing the actual bicep. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I knew you was in that, CJ. So yeah, happy days. You know, it was a little bit news led. Yeah, we, we appreciate that. But, you know, the, the trade idea was good. A little bit lucky with the news, but hey, you know, We'll, we'll take those days, um, no problem. Um, they don't call it the US dirty for nothing. No, they don't. I used to know someone called the US dirty. No, I didn't really um, go there. Um, 
Okay. All right, guys. So, yeah, anyone else? Any other questions? I'm just looking through the live chat. Did I miss any pairs that we're looking at or anything else we want to look at? Um, if not, guys, we'll call it a day there, um, a little bit earlier than usual. Um, but if you haven't got any more questions, guys, we'll, we'll call it a day. Um, can I just say thank you very much for watching? We can't do it without you guys. We really appreciate your support, me and the editor. Appreciate your support every day and appreciate all your questions. Your questions are the fuel for this live stream. Yeah, if I didn't have your questions, I can't talk about one trade that I'm in for 45 minutes. All right, so we appreciate your questions. Keep them coming. Um, I'll be here same time again tomorrow. Have a great trading day.